Take you live out at Austin Bergstrom International Airport. Things are calm right there right now compared to the travel troubles we saw there this morning. Oh yes, check it out. KXAN viewers shared some of their experiences with us and we saw long lines stretching outside the airport and stacking up along the building. It took many people by surprise. And that was just one part of the problem. KXAN Sarah Rahman live in the airport with news of a fuel shortage out there. That's right, Britain Robert. The Austin Bergstrom International Airport says on any given day they have about two to three days worth of fuel supply on hand here. They say that's compared to most other airports at five to seven days worth of fuel. Simply put, that means they cannot meet the demand. It's one of the issues that they're currently working on. But meanwhile, Austin's mayor says he expects to see more delays and more days like we saw today. Long lines of passengers inside the airport caused a backup outside with lines wrapped around the entrance and rental cars piled up along the curb as passengers ditched them to hop in line. So messy, it was so chaotic. Jean Lynn Gadiano and Jocelyn Franz were here around 4 a.m. for their sister's flight. She came early just yeah. to, you know, to make it on time, but you know, she had to pay that extra dollars yeah. just to get through the priority boarding. Like Airport spokesperson says there were about 1,600 more passengers than they usually see before 8 a.m. I think we're going to be dealing with the, the, the growing pains uh, for, for an indefinite period of time. Uh, and we're going to see those as we saw this morning. The airport says they're working on terminal improvements and helping the TSA fill vacancies. But there's also another problem. Traffic is outpacing fuel supply. The airport asked airlines to fly in with more fuel than normal on Monday and say that's becoming more common. During Formula One weekend in October, for example, three flights had to fuel up at a different airport. In a memo earlier this month, city staff said they initiated a design and permitting process for a new fuel storage facility that would increase capacity. As the airport grapples with their growing pains, Gadiano plans to get here extra early for her 7 a.m. flight. In case the, the line will be the same again like this morning, Now, the city says the first phase of construction on that new fuel storage facility will take about two years. We have heard from neighbors with their safety concerns over that facility, but in the city's most recent memo earlier this month, city staff say that they evaluated those and that no other site meets all the requirements. Britt, Robert. Dahara, thank you. The city of Austin wants to expand the airport as well. There was an open house on Saturday to discuss expansion plans and the environmental impact of those plans. City officials want to add three new gates and a new terminal that will add 10 more gates. It will also include an underground tunnel to connect that terminal to the Barbara Jordan Terminal. A draft environmental assessment, public comments and responses will be presented to the FAA this spring.